learning outcomes versus learning objectives. Which one do you need for your online course or e-learning program? We're gonna go through the difference between them today and tell you which one we recommend is the most important and valuable for you and your learners. Welcome to e-learning partners. This channel is all about simplifying your e-learning so you find success in your e-learning program. We also have a free masterclass, link below in the description. Definitely go check it out, teaching you how to find success in every e-learning program or and online course you've built. It's gonna help you build out your outcomes and your e-learning objectives based around the learner. So outcomes versus e-learning objectives or learning objectives. What's the difference? Well, outcomes are all about your learners. Learners. This is learner focused. Mm -hmm. And objectives are all about your subject matter experts. So remember in school, you go to school, you go to class. With your little lunch bag. You got your lunch bag. So then you take that apple, you eat it at lunch, and then after lunch you go to your math class and your teacher's like, all right everyone, today we're gonna go through our objective today, because I'm a subject matter expert, subject matter expert, is to learn addition, okay? We're gonna learn basic addition, how to add one number to the other and get more numbers. The objective is clear, right? The objective that they have for you is for you to learn addition, but what is the outcome for you? The outcome is fast forward 15 years in the future and you can properly file your taxes. But that I is the difference that, between he's also a objectives and outcomes, all right? An objective is when you go into the classroom as a teacher. So our objective, I guess, for this video was we wanted to tell you the difference between outcomes and objectives. But the outcome is now you know, and when you build your program, when you build it, you're gonna focus on the outcomes, the learning outcomes, not the learning objectives. These outcomes are the results. Is what you want to focus on because it's are learner the results. based. Mm -hmm. This is not only the results, but this is the pain that is being solved for your learner. Remember, in our other videos, we talk about when you're creating e-learning or online learning or whatever the case may be, you want to make sure you understand the biggest challenges that your learners have. An outcome is a learner overcoming those challenges. It's the result. The result. And there's a clear difference between the objective, which is what the subject matter expert is teaching versus the learner outcome, the outcomes, which is the result that your learner is getting through teaching. We don't just wanna teach to teach. We wanna make sure that we're teaching with a clear outcome of what the learner is gonna be receiving through that teaching. So as a subject matter expert, or creating an e-learning program or online course, you really wanna understand the biggest challenge because that's gonna influence the objective that you're gonna teach, which is gonna solve that outcome or produce that outcome, which is solving that big pain point. Exactly, so you really, you want these to match up. They need to sync up and they need to sync up from the learner's perspective. So you work backwards, you wanna work backwards from the outcome, which is why when we teach about learning objectives, we talk about milestones. So when you are building a program, you need to build it based on milestones. Milestones are the outcomes that your learners achieve on their journey from A to Z. So the LTS statement, we talk about this. Learner transformation statement, we talk more about this in other videos. Check it out in our masterclass as well. This is where they start, this is where they end, or the results that they get. And the milestones are the outcomes that they get along the way. They are also the objectives, but the objectives from the learner's perspective. We have another video for you guys to watch all about how to build learning objectives the right way, and the right way is to build them based on outcomes, and they will come. Thank you so much for the likes and the subscribes, and we'll see you in the next video.